Today, we're making balls. Meatballs. <laughs> Hey guys, my name is Courtney Budzen and this is What's For Din. I am super excited to say that we are partnering up with Farm Rich today to bring you this delicious meatball stroganoff. It's all of the same delicious flavors that are in a regular beef stroganoff, but with half the work. It is so delicious, very decadent, it is to die for. And also a special thanks to Farm Rich since they are sponsoring this video, we are going to be using their pre-made Italian meatballs that you can find in the frozen section at your grocery store. All right, now I'm gonna say it, I am not a pre-made frozen food type of gal, but however, I understand there are so many mothers out there who come home and they don't wanna make homemade meatballs and be like, you know, that's a lot of work. They wanna get the food on the table, they wanna eat, and they wanna go sit on the couch and die and like go to sleep. <laughs> that's what I wanna do. Now the reason I love these so much is because there are no sketchy ingredients. So enough jibber jabbing, let's get this potty started. <laughs> All right, so first things first, we're gonna go ahead and dice up an onion. Now you can totally use shallots if you would like to. It adds a little bit of a different flavor, but you can use onion too. So my slow cooker is already set to high, so it's getting a little bit of a head start. So we can go ahead and add our onion to that. I'm also going to add some minced up garlic. And now we're gonna chop up some baby bella mushrooms. Now I like to chop these up really thick. I only slice them about three times. Because we are cooking this for three hours, the mushrooms are going to shrink. So cutting them into a bigger size like this helps to prevent them from shrinking entirely. So go ahead and add those to the pot. As you can see, I'm using a ton of mushrooms. I really like mushrooms. So if you don't want that many, you can use less. If you want more, use more, totally up to you. Now we're gonna go ahead and season that with some salt, pepper, a little bit of paprika, a tiny bit of rosemary, and of course, last but not least, some Italian seasoning. Now it's time to add our meatballs. Like I said, I'm using the brand Farm Rich Meatballs, so we have to cook them according to package directions. So I'm using the slow cooker method. So we have to cook these covered for about three to four hours. Now Farm Rich has so many different snack options, it's ridiculous. And I'm gonna tell you, I tasted all of them and they are stinking delicious. So if you're in need of some last minute snacking, go to farmrich.com, use the product locator and go get yourself some of these because they're delicious. So back to the recipe, we're gonna go ahead and add the meatballs into the slow cooker. And to that, I'm gonna add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce and some beef broth. Give that a really good stir. Make sure everything's evenly incorporated. Pop on the lid and we are going to cook this on high, like I said, according to package directions for about three to four hours. So now you can leave the gravy really thin like this. You could totally just serve this up the way it is, but I like to go the extra step and I like thick gravy. So I'm taking the meatballs and separating them from the liquid. So to thicken it up, I'm going to add the liquid to a pot on the stove bring it to a boil, and then we're going to add a slurry to thicken it up. So basically, it's just equal parts cornstarch to equal parts cold water. Give that a really good whisk together, and once the liquid is nice and boiling hot, you can go ahead and add that cold cornstarch liquid, give it a good whisk together, and it will thicken up beautifully and in seconds. So if you wanna take that extra step, it's totally worth it because it just makes it more of a gravy instead of more of like a broth. I add the meatballs back in, and then you can go ahead and plate it up any way that you want. You can serve this over rice, over pasta, over egg noodles, basically anything you want, but I like mashed potatoes, and I thought that this gravy went perfect with mashed potatoes, so that is it. Dinner is served. All right, you guys know what time it is. It's taste test time. Wait, what do you think you're doing? You want some too? You like meatballs? Yeah? Okay, down, down. Oh God, it's so good. Mm. Even the dog wants it. You know, I'm not even gonna lie, it is really hard to believe these meatballs are <coughs> really hard to believe that these are pre-made store-bought meatballs because these taste insane. So if you do wanna recreate this recipe, just look below in the description box. I'll leave all the measurements as well as the written instructions. And if you did like this video, don't forget to smack that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell notification. That way you get notified every single time I upload a video. And as always, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and we'll see you next time. Peace. None for you. Okay, maybe a little bit for you. All you get is a little potato, okay? What do you say? What do you say? Yeah? Can you growl? Growl. Yes, good boy. <laughs>